everyone welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video do you find that your skin is looking a little dull do you find that you have a lot of scars and spots and blemishes on your skin do you find that your neck is very dark are you looking for a natural way to brighten and lighten the skin and get rid of hyperpigmentation from the skin while boots in collagen production in the skin for a firmer and tighter skin with a natural glow are you looking to have your skin looking so much younger and fresher well guess what guys today I'm gonna to show you how you can use just simple ingredients natural ingredients that you can find in your kitchen that do contain skin lightening properties I'm gonna make a facial scrub and a facial mask all using tomato I'm gonna to add other skin lightening ingredient to it all natural of course that's gonna clear your skin brighten the skin get rid of acne scars and also boost the collagen production and give your skin that natural younger fresher look so what are you waiting for let's get in the kitchen and start whipping this up really really quick take a look at my first ingredient here I have a half of a medium tomato and we're using the tomato for its skin lightening properties it may help to fight cellular damage it have anti-aging properties it also may help to remove dead skin cells it helps to boost collagen production it also helps to smooth and clear the skin of hyperpigmentation now I'm going to be blending the tomato. If you do not have a blender, you can go ahead and you can actually grate the tomato or you can actually choose to mash and squeeze out the tomato juice. So now I chop my tomato for easier blending since I have a small blender. So just place your tomato in the blender. I'm also going to add a second skin lightening ingredient, which is lemon. We're using lemon for its antioxidant vitamin C, which may help to boost the collagen production and also get rid of dull, rough looking skin. It also will help to get rid of hyperpigmentation on the skin. I'm using about a teaspoon of the lemon juice. You don't need a lot because the tomato already have the citric acid in it so what we're gonna do now we are gonna blend and we're gonna blend well however before we blend I'm gonna add some rose water to this not a lot just about a tablespoon of rose water which will help to hydrate the skin so now let's just cover and blend Now after blending, I like to strain to get rid of any form of uh, seeds. So use a strainer or a cheesecloth and strain. As you can see, we have some trash from it. You can store your tomato puree in your refrigerator for about seven days and use it up in your facial remedies. And now we're gonna put this aside now I'm gonna be making two remedies from our tomato juice now the first thing I'm gonna make is a tomato facial scrub and I'm gonna be using rice here I have some blended white rice you can choose to use brown sugar or you can even choose to use some cornmeal I'm using one tablespoon of blended rice and for our tomato mixture we're using one tablespoon of our tomato mixture. Next, we're reaching for some honey, which is optional. And I'm adding about a half a teaspoon of the honey. I'm also gonna be using some coconut oil. And I'm gonna use about a half a teaspoon of the coconut oil. And now I'm gonna mix this together. Just mix well. Make sure to blend everything together. And here you have your tomato rice facial scrub. Now to use this scrub, you want to apply it to clean skin. So make sure to wash your face first. And then you take a little of your scrub 
apply to your skin and exfoliate your skin with the scrub. So this is gonna clear the skin of hyperpigmentation, clear the skin of dead skin cells, and it's gonna leave your skin bright, radiant, with a natural glow. Now, once you exfoliate your skin for about two to three minutes, you're gonna rinse off and pat dry and apply your favorite skincare product. Now, store your leftover tomato rice scrub in the refrigerator for up to seven days. Now, let's move on to our next tomato facial. So we're gonna be using some yogurt. And I'm using one tablespoon of yogurt. Now if you're a vegan, you can go ahead and you can use some soy milk or some rice cream. To make rice cream, just boil some rice, blend it with a little bit of a water, and you're good to go. And now we're gonna use one tablespoon of the tomato puree in this. We're also gonna add a little bit of almond oil, about a half of a teaspoon of almond oil. And our final ingredient is some aloe vera gel. And we're adding about a teaspoon of aloe vera gel. And now we're gonna mix and we're gonna mix well. Just slowly blend this together. Mix well. And here it is, guys. This is our tomato facial mask. To use the tomato facial mask, you can use it right after the tomato facial scrub, or you can use it two to three times a week, not necessarily after the scrub. What you're gonna do, start with clean skin, take a little of the tomato facial mask, apply it all over your skin, your face, your neck, and your decollete. Once this is done, you're gonna leave it there for about 30 minutes, and then you're gonna rinse off, pat dry the skin, and apply your favorite skincare products. Now you can store this in your refrigerator for about three to four days since it contains yogurt. You don't wanna make this and put it down for too long. And there you have it, two ways to use the tomato on your skin as a facial mask and also as a facial scrub. Hello. So there you have it. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and give these two amazing tomato facial a try. Use it for a couple of weeks, guys, and then come back and leave a comment. Once you use these on a regular, you're on your way to brighter looking skin, fresher looking skin, and also tighter looking skin. Guys, you definitely will get a natural glow when you use this on a regular. Now, guys, if this was your first time watching, look below, you're going to see the word subscribe. Subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.